re-enter the animate world of Ni no Kuni 2 and explore a beautifully crafted world and experience the gripping story in an all-new RPG adventure. A charming and tragic tale unfolds as Evan, a boy prince learns how to become a leader and build a kingdom. Stunning visuals recreate the world of Ni no Kuni and immerses players into an incredibly vibrant, animated land Phi LLED with a new cast of delightful characters to meet. New and traditional RPG elements expertly crafted and designed featuring dozens of locations to explore, hundreds of creatures to battle and a wealth of quests and secrets to uncover throughout the sweeping journey. Prince's Edition includes Prince's Equipment Package, Proper Tidy Ring, Proper Tidy Pendant, Hero's Delight, Dragon's Tooth, Cat King's Claw, Special Swords Set, and Previous DLC, Adventure Pack, Lair of the Lost Lord, and Tale of a Timeless Tome. Top Reviews from the United States Worth Your Money Okay first things first, this isn't a direct sequel to Ni no Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. It's set in the same world years later. So getting the sequel vibes out of the picture you can start to understand and appreciate that the battle system, characters, and other things are going to be different from the previous game. I love this. Instead of turn-based fighting it's more hack and slash, think BOTW Zelda, you can easily switch who you control during battle from your three-person party. There's no familiars this time around, like Pokemon, but instead we get more aid from Higglies who help you without you having to control them. I prefer this to the familiar route of the last game. There are new things too like sieges where you control four groups against armies to win and also building up your kingdom from scratch. Getting new citizens is a big thing too that takes up a lot of side quests. The side quests are different too. Instead of getting most of them from Swift Solutions aka the Adventure Guild you get them from the people themselves. But don't worry Swift will show up in cities with some side quests and objectives for you to complete as well as his token system still active. Just different. This is a good thing. So looking at this game not as a sequel but as its own game with just ties to the Ni no Kuni world and some homages to White Witch I find it's an amazing game with heartwarming characters and stories. I'd definitely recommend this game as long as you're okay with it not having the turn-based fighting system. I know some people prefer that to hack and slashes, I do not you still have fun finding and creating higgledies and upgrading them but again they are completely different from familiars and should be treated like so. Anyways I hope this helped you make a decision on whether or not this game is for you.